Today we will show you the tutorial of Arrow 3D mapping for sheet metal parts. Now you can see the photos and models of sheet metal parts. After opening Arrow 3D mapping, choose Open Project with Flow and click the template file. Create and name a new project directory. It will automatically save the process data and result models and can be reloaded at any time. Click the mesh data in the flowchart. Select sheet metal model and import. After the high poly mesh is imported, click transform. This step is to zero the center point of the model. I told you to press C before. In fact, you can also click this icon. On the left is the view bar. You can change the model view by clicking those different icons. The adjustment of the model view doesn't affect the original position of the model. After adjusting the position, click OK. Next, click Simplify Mesh. This step will simplify the high poly mesh to the min mesh. And the default parameters generally output 300,000 faces. You can also adjust the number according to your own needs. Then generate UV. After doing so, the min mesh will be automatically output to the local. In the next node, you can see the main mesh node. Click the local position to view the data. Then, click Transform UV. We pass the UV of the main mesh to the high poly mesh. The high poly mesh will also be automatically output to the local. You can also check it in the next node. Next, Click the photo cap, create and name the photo gallery, and import the required pictures. This time, we don't need to do the main body detection. Its purpose is to prevent the background from interfering with the orientation. Whether to do the main body detection is based on the relative position of the object and the background. If the object doesn't move, we don't need to detect main body, and if it does, such as taking pictures on the turntable, we need to select the body. We directly click the relative orientation. The default parameters are unchanged, and the camera and the sparse point cloud data are automatically generated in accordance with the spatial sequence. Click Absolute Orientation to match the model to the photo position. Click the Structure Register so that the model is basically aligned with the photo. You can click it multiple times. In this step, the absolute orientation is to align the structure of a single photo and the model, and the remaining photos are aligned according to the structural additional relationship between that single photo and the model. After absolute orientation, first grab the extra point cloud, then click filter as or
and now click Find Registration to make the model fully registered with the point cloud. You can return to absolute orientation to see if it is aligned. If there is a deviation, you can click all and then click the structure register. This time, the absolute orientation is to align each photo with the model itself. Objects that are close to the plane, such as sheet metal parts and tablet, we better go back to the absolute orientation to check. Because for such plane objects, when the point cloud is matched with the model, the point cloud is not enough which leads to the certain error in fine registration. If it is a 3D object, this situation generally won't happen. After checking the result, we need to save the register photo file. Click the texturing mesh, select the photo gallery for mapping, check distortion and flare textures after automatic mapping. If there are, you need to manually edit the scene. If not, you can uniform the texture and save. Click the Refine Texture in Photoshop. Select the Clone Stamp to refine the texture and remember to unchoose the Align. Press Alt and click the place where the model needs to be refined. Save the image and return to the Arial 3D mapping. Press Shift to reload the texture. You can see the result. After finishing, you can uniform the color and save the texture. But if you think the texture is good enough, you can skip this whole step.
at the end, click the bake texture in Mammal Set. After baking, the min mesh and high poly mesh will be automatically output and saved to the project directory. This is the high poly mesh. This is the min mesh, that is the normals. By the way, remember to set plugin path and set up Mammoth for the first time.